Hi, welcome. I'm Heather and welcome to Heather's Hippo Yoga. Uh, today we are doing a beginner yoga to build strength for bigger bodies practice. This is a great way just to when you're starting out to really just build that foundational strength to help you really grow and expand your practice. Great, let's go ahead and get started. So, coming to your comfortable seat or sukhasana, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall in your sits bones. Move the flesh out of the way if you need to. Remembering you can always sit down on top of a pillow or a folded up blanket to get that nice elongated spine to sit up and easy. Closing your eyes, rest your hands in your lap, and let's tune into our breath. Starting to breathe normally in and out through the nose. Just letting it be exactly as it is. Not trying to change it in any way. Starting to get curious seeing if it is shallow or deep, fast or slow breathing, easeful or strained. Just notice without any judgment. And start to rub the palms of your hands together. Starting to create some friction, some heat, some warmth. And my cat is right in front of my light. <laughs> so Astrid has joined us. She's gotten super curious. <laughs> so this should be fun. All right, go ahead, cup your hands over your eyes and inhale deeply in through your nose. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale and start to massage your face. Making little circles on your forehead, your brow, just kind of really releasing any tightness or tension you might have there, any soreness or tenderness, just giving it a little bit of TLC. And then move out to your temples and down to your cheekbones and your cheeks and take the heels of your hands and draw them down your jaw. Hi baby! Astrid is out and about and I think she's going to walk on my laptop. We're doing great. <laughs> Go ahead, bring your hands to heart center, connecting your thumbs to your chest, pressing into the palms of the hands, breathing in and out through the nose. Astrid. Give me a second. Keep breathing. I hope you all heard that. <laughs> and release your hands down to your lap. If you have pets at home, you understand. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do a little pranayama practice or breath practice. We're going to practice the ujjayi breath or the Darth Vader breathing. That's what I, that's what I call it. Um, basically, you're breathing in and out through your nose, but you're making a swirling sound at the back of your throat, which kind of sounds like Darth Vader, right? So to start, she's full on just sitting on my laptop. Okay, we're taking a cut break. Astrid, you're fucking killing me. Come on. I'm cutting this out. Yes, get out of the way. You little shit.
Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to start to do a pranayama practice or breath practice. This is called Ujjayi breath, or as I like to call it, Darth Vader breathing. Um, it kind of sounds like that <sighs> kind of sound, right? Um, and if you're a Star Wars nerd, you know what I'm talking about. If not, YouTube it. I'm sure you've heard of it somewhere. Um, so basically, you're breathing in and out through your nose, but you've got this kind of swirling sound that's happening in the back of your throat. So to begin, to get us there, go ahead, inhale through the nose, open your mouth, exhale as if you're fogging up a window. <sighs> inhale, exhale, <sighs> fog up the glass, fog up the window. Keep going. <sighs> Great. The next step is to close your mouth, but still keep that swirling sound in the back of your throat. So you kind of lift the soft palate, almost like when you're yawning, and you create that sound in the back of your throat. So it's going to sound and look like this. Okay? So definitely Darth Vader breath. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And continue at your own pace, breathing normally. Ujjayi breath is a great pranayama practice you can use throughout your entire yoga class, every time, all the time. It's so soothing, calming, and it really helps you get in that oxygen that your body so desperately needs. Okay, so lean back, switch the cross of your legs, and start to Sufi grind. So creating those circles with our torso, big, small, slow, or fast. It's absolutely fine, whatever feels right. A lot of yoga is just tuning into how our body feels and becoming aware of it. So start now. And start to connect the breath. So inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keep going, and then switch directions. Inhale forward, exhale back. Forward and back. Notice I'm using my ujjayi breath. Slowly start to make the circle smaller, one at a time, eventually coming to stillness. And just feel and notice how your body feels. How does it feel different from before? Or maybe it feels the same. Just notice. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to all fours. So tabletop. Remembering you can always put a blanket underneath your knees for some cushion. And you can also use a rolled up blanket to help ease the strain and pressure on your wrists. Right? When we have our hands on the mat, they're at a 90 degree angle. But if you put something underneath your, your wrist, it's not a 90 degree angle. And it takes a little bit of the pressure off, okay? So, 
Point your fingers facing towards the front of the mat, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Imagine there's a string connected to the crown of your head, pulling it forward and pulling your tailbone back. Your navel is drawn into your belly button and you're pressing through your hands. This is how we start to build that strength, by being fully engaged. Keep breathing here. Some days, this is plenty of workout for me, just for my shoulders. Sometimes they feel a little sore. And doing tabletop like this is about all I can handle. And that's perfectly fine. But we're going to move on a little bit, work on our strength a little bit more. We are going to start to pause. Go that way. She's so excited. Okay, I guess y'all are getting the real <laughs> live experience here. Okay, so start to shift your torso front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. And we're just starting to warm up our wrists, warm up our shoulders, and then reverse directions. This is also a great way to build strength in your arms. And come to stillness, find that neutral spine, and inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and gaze. Exhale, round the back, tuck the tail, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and gaze. Exhale, round the back, press through those hands. Inhale, nice big breath. Exhale, blow out the air. Inhale to cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And as you're in cat, go ahead, tuck your toes. Sit your hips back to stretch out your feet a little bit. And give your wrists a little bit of a break. Go ahead, flip your palm over and stretch out your wrist, both sides. Maybe circle them a little bit. And then bring your toes together, toes to touch, knees wide, press back into child's pose. Release the heart, release the head, and breathe. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sigh. Deep breath in. Exhale, sigh. Breathe in. And sigh. Beautiful. And come back up to tabletop, finding that neutral spine, pressing through the hands, navel engaged. Keep pressing through those fingertips and inhale, reach that right foot back. Imagine somebody is pulling your foot back and pulling the crown of your head forward. Press through the hands, engage the shoulders. Draw the navel in, hold it here for a moment, you've got this, and lower down. Switch sides, inhale, lift that leg, reach that heel back, reach that crown forward, press through those hands, draw that navel in, hold it, keep breathing, and lower. And now, Pressing through the left hand, or I'm sorry, press through the right hand and raise your left arm out. Reaching the fingertip, navel engaged, press through the hand, breathe, and lower. Switching sides, inhale, reach that right arm forward, reach, 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 reach. Hold it, keep breathing and lower. 
Now, I think you probably guessed it. We're going to do both at the same time. So, inhale, reach that right foot back and the left arm forward. Reach, 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 reach. Press through the hand, navel engaged, hold it. And lower, great job. Switching sides, inhale the left foot back and the right arm forward. Hold it, hold it, hold it, reach, press through the hand. And lower. Nice job. Go ahead, shift forward onto your belly. Move your boobies out of the way if you have to. Put your hands next to your chest. Press into the tops of your feet to engage those legs. Draw the navel into the spine and inhale. Lift the gaze, reach the heart forward. Shoulders down. Make sure your hands aren't pressing into the floor. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, lengthen for baby cobra, reaching that heart. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, lengthen, reaching the heart. And go ahead, take a second, hover the hands above the mat, really working that spine, strengthening it. And lower. Excellent job. Moving into our downward facing dog, tuck your toes, come up to your tabletop. Move your hands just about a few inches ahead of where they're at. Tuck your toes, press through the hands, and send your hips back. So keep a bend in your knees if you need to, and send the heels down. Pressing through all fingertips, letting the head hang, and releasing. Every time you exhale, bring your heart closer to your shins for this upward, uh, upside down V. As always, if you need to take a break, go ahead, come to child's pose. And then just join me when you're ready. Ah, you can start to walk the dog if that feels good, bending one knee at a time. Sending that tailbone up, maybe bending the knees, and then when you straighten them, really send that tailbone up, press through the hands. Really big breaths here. This is hard work, so engage that ujjayi breath. And then lower your knees, touch your toes together, widen your knees, and release to child's pose. Take a nice deep inhale in, exhale, sigh, inhale, exhale. Go ahead, walk your hands up. And let's come to stand at the top of our mat. Okay. So, finding that Tadasana. Feet rooted into the floor. Thighs engaged. Tail tucked. Navel drawn in. Heart lifted. Shoulders down. Palms facing forward. Tuck your chin slightly so you've got that gorgeous, elongated neck. And the last thing, engage that root lock. Squeeze those bathroom muscles. Draw them in and up into your navel. Nice and strong mountain pose or Tadasana. Keep breathing. You're like a rock. Nothing can make you fall right now. And go ahead and move your hands to your hips. Inhale, step that right foot back to a nice high lunge, high crescent lunge. Check the alignment, knee over the ankle, back heel reaching, navel drawn in, heart lifted, shoulders down, hands on your hips. Breathing here. 
And we're going to put our arms down. And what we're going to do is as we inhale, we're going to straighten our knee, raise the arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, straighten the knee, bring the arms up. Exhale, bend the knee, lower them down. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend. Keep going, you got this. Inhale to straight. Exhale to bend. One more. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. Bring your hands back to your hips and inhale, step up to the top of the mat. It's a great way to engage our glute muscles, our hamstrings our core, really working to build that leg strength. Okay, hands on your hips, standing up nice and tall, fully engaged, rooted down, root lock engaged. Inhale, step that left foot back, standing up nice and tall, knee over the ankle, back leg is reaching, heart lifted, shoulders down. <coughs> Holding here for a moment, breathing into our legs, basking in the strength of them and what they do for us every day. They hold us, they get us from one place to another. It's truly incredible. So release your hands down, inhale, straighten the knee, exhale, bend the knee, sink into it. Inhale, straighten, bring those arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, down, keep that navel drawn in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, down, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, step up to the top of the mat. Nice job. Shake out the legs. Okay, coming back to our Tadasana, hands on your hips. Inhale, step the right foot back to a nice high lunge. Go ahead, pivot the heel down onto the mat. Check that alignment, right? Front heel perpendicular with the middle of your arc. Keep that knee nice and bent. Open your chest down nice and wide. Make sure you're not leaning forward, not leaning back. Straight up. Tuck the tailbone, navel drawn in, heart lifted, shoulders down. And sink into this beautiful plie. Look down and see if you can see your big toe. Remember, you want that front knee moving out. We're going to do that same thing we just did. This is really going to work these thighs. So put your arms down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink down. Use that ujjayi breath. Inhale, straighten. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And come right into your warrior two. Turn your gaze toward the front nice and strong, reaching the fingertips, shoulders down. Gorgeous. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn that back heel up. Navel drawn in, heart lifted, and step up. Nice. Okay, let's switch sides. I'm going to face this direction. So standing nice and tall, hands on the hips, feet rooted into the ground, fully engaged. Inhale, step the left foot back to a high lunge. Check that alignment, knee over the ankle, nice and tall, and then pivot the back heel down. Check your alignment, front heel perpendicular, the arc of your foot. Open your chest out. Remember, don't lean forward, don't lean back. Nice and straight. Tuck the tail, navel drawn in, heart lifted, shoulders down. Nice and strong. 
Check to see that you can see your big toe. If you can, rock star. Okay, here we go. Lower the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep breathing, friends. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Right into your warrior two. Shift the gaze over that middle finger. Make sure that knee is moving out. Hold it here. Breathe nice and strong. Keep that navel engaged. And bring your hands to your hips. Turn that back heel up and step up. And shake it up. Shake your tushy. Relax a little bit. And come to a nice wide stance. Heels in, toes out, okay? We're gonna come into a little goddess squat, all right? So bending the knees, a little sumo squat here. This may be great for you and do it just fine. This may be what you're going for. It's fine. Wherever you are at is perfect. So go ahead, put your hands on your hips. Sink into this pose, keep that navel drawn in and that heart lifted, and then come up to stand, straighten the legs. Bend and straight. Inhale, bend and straight. Bend and straight. Bend and straight. Bend. And straight, one more. Bend and straight. Okay, here's the part where you might hate me a little bit, but it's okay. Do the best you can, and that's just perfect. We're gonna do a little pulsing. So go ahead, sink down, hold this, and we're just gonna pulse for eight. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and come up to stand and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, lower down and pulse. Go, one, two, keep breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and come up to stand. And release, walk your feet back in, shake them out, Woo. excellent. And come down to your mat. Press back into child's pose. Wide knees, toes touching. <sighs> Best part of practice by far. Oh. And inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Release. Breathing. Close your eyes. And go ahead, come on up. And let's shift forward back onto your belly. Press into the tops of your feet. We're going to do a little locust, so we're going to really work our spine and work our core. So bring your arms down, palms facing down at your side, tops of your feet are on the floor, and the first thing you're going to do is just like what we did with baby cobra, is you're going to inhale, lift the gaze, reach the crown of the head forward, and reach the heart forward, and then lower. So inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Great, okay. Now we're gonna do the feet and hands. So when you inhale and lift, imagine someone is pulling your fingertips and your hands back and lower. Inhale, lift just the feet, just the fingers. 
Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Fingers, toes reaching back. Exhale, down. <clears throat> and now we're going to inhale and add, put the two together. So lifting the heart, lifting the feet, and lifting the fingers. So inhale, lift. Heart reaching. Somebody is pulling your fingertips and toes back. It's almost like you're being stretched in two different directions. Draw the navel into the spine and exhale lower. Inhale, lift. Navel to spine, reaching with the toes, reaching with the hands. Exhale lower. Inhale, lift. Reach, 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 reach. It's not about the height. It's about the length. Exhale, lower. Woo! And just breathe here for a second. Put your hands under your forehead. Turn your toes in. Let your heels fall out. And breathe into your lower back. Excellent. Go ahead and roll over onto your back. Flat down. And put your feet on the floor. Walk your heels as close to your butt cheeks as you can get them. Right? Make sure your knees are hip width distance apart so you, want, you don't want them out. You want them going straight up aligned with your hips. <clears throat> Take your fingertips and crawl them down to almost try and reach your heels. Now, my thighs are a little too big, so I can't reach my feet here, and that's okay. Maybe you can. Awesome. Love it. It's great no matter what. Now, shoulders are connected to the floor. <clears throat> what you're going to do, we're going to do a little bridge pose here. and Take it nice and easy. You're going to press through your heels. Sending your belly button up and your heart forward. And then lower. Just try it out a couple times. Only pressing through the heels. Press through the heels. Lift. Press that pelvis up. And lower. Inhale. Lift. Keep the neck on the ground. Shoulders on the ground. Use the quadricep muscles and exhale, lower slowly. Excellent. Draw those knees into your chest. And keep them wide if that feels good. And just rock side to side, pressing the lower back into the floor. Breathing. And let's go ahead and move into your Shavasana. Right? Remembering you can lay flat like this, or you can put pillows under your knees. You can put a blanket over your body. Maybe you want to put a pillow underneath your head. Maybe you want to lay on your stomach or your side. Whatever feels most comfortable. Do that. There's no wrong way. I'm going to sit here and guide you into Shavasana. So getting nice and comfy. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep inhale in. Exhale, sigh. Keep breathing. And relax your face muscles. Soften the eyes. Soften the cheek muscles. Relax the jaw. Close the lips of your mouth. Separate your teeth. And release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Inhale. Exhale, release your shoulders and your arms into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, release your lower back and bottom 
into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, release your legs and feet. Let gravity pull your weight down. And know that there is nothing left for you to do right now. I'll let you know when it's time to come out. Shavasana. to deepen the breath, 
bringing movement back into your fingertips and your toes, circling your wrists and your ankles. Reach the arms above your head and stretch. And make your way up to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. You can sit on top of a blanket or a pillow. And reconnect with your breath. Tune into it. Notice if it feels any different. Notice if you feel any different. Place one hand on your heart and take a moment to express gratitude to yourself. Thank yourself for taking the time to stretch and strengthen your muscles and flex your body. And thank your body for its strength and for housing you, holding you, moving you, sustaining you. And bring your hands to heart center. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you once again for joining me today. I truly am grateful to have you here. Um, if you enjoyed this practice, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends who you think may benefit from this. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Bye. Thanks so much.